Am I the asshole? For giving my daughter a car that I previously promised my girlfriend? I've been with my girlfriend for three years we live together but I also have a 19-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. She lives with her mom. A few months ago I ordered a new car and my girlfriend asked me if she could have my current one and she'll just pay me in installments for it. I told her yes. But a few days ago I was spending the day with my daughter and she kept complaining about issues with her car which is a pos and she asked me if she could borrow £1,000 to buy another one and I told her no and that instead she should just take my car since my new one is due to arrive in two weeks and in the meantime I'll just rent one. When I told my girlfriend about it afterwards I knew she'd be mad but I offered to just buy her a different car but she screamed at me and called me selfish and said that I should at least once choose her over my daughter. Am I the asshole? Info I have a few questions. Had the girlfriend already started making payments? Are you going to have her make payments for whatever car you buy her instead? And is it a regular conflict between you and the girlfriend about you choosing your daughter over her? You're the asshole you don't make a promise and then get to do as you want. The right thing would have been to talk about it with your GF first and then respect her choice if she still wanted the car you promised her. You can buy a new one to your daughter. So does that mean your girlfriend will have to pay more for a new car after you told her she could pay for your old one? If you're just offering her a car, then you're being extremely nice. If you just fucked her over after agreeing to a deal, yeah, you're an asshole. You're the asshole. You made agreement with your GF and then you changed it without discussing it with her. So info, how many times have you done something like this before? Because she said she wants to be chosen at least once indicating this isn't the first time. I offered to just buy her a different car. You could have done that for your daughter too. With this in mind it is not even choosing one person over the other. You're the asshole in my personal opinion. If you meant the offer to buy another car, you just randomly created a line of problems. You needing to rent a car. Breaking the promise to your GF. If you didn't mean the offer to buy a car, you just made another empty promise to shut her up. Yeah, you're the asshole here. You didn't handle this well. You created the whole problem. You'd promised the car to GF, and your daughter asked for money, not your car. At the very least, you should have discussed this with your GF, and let her choose the car or you'd go buy a different one. Bit of a clueless oopsie here, but you fucked up. You're the asshole for going back on your word not even discussing it with her first. You had an agreement for her to buy the car, so it wasn't really yours to now give away. You're the asshole you had an agreement with your GF and then gave the car to your daughter without even mentioning it to GF first. I'm not saying you're the offer choosing to give your daughter the car as you had the means to help her and it's your choice, but not even letting her know first? I should at least once choose her over my daughter. Do you do things like this a lot? Make your long-term partner feel like an afterthought? Agree something with her just to cancel? Until you were gonna let your GF make payments she can make payments on a different car. It was maybe not cool to not tell her you were actually giving the car to your daughter instead but she isn't entitled to it and you are responsible for your daughter. No info on GFS age, length of relationship, etc. that I can see maybe I missed it. If it was a serious live in GF that was essentially common law I'd work something out if she needs help but if not lol no way. Nah, the daughter takes priority. Full stop, my kids would always come first. I would apologize and work getting a car with the GF. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, your daughter really needed it and you offered to get your girlfriend a different one. Your girlfriend is acting like a spoiled child. You're the asshole. You broke your promise. It means she can't trust you. You're the asshole. You agreed to give the car to your partner and she's pay it off. I get things can change, but it doesn't sound like you even discussed this with her before telling your daughter she could have it. You're the asshole you just showed her you don't keep your promises and your word means jack. You're the asshole. In what world does going back on your word make you not the asshole? You're the asshole, you had a deal with your girlfriend. The least you could have done is tell your daughter you have to talk to her first. How is she supposed to ever trust you if you throw your agreements away like this? You're the asshole. Not because you chose to give your car to your kid, but because you told your GF she could have it first. She was expecting that car and she might not be able to afford another. Uta give me a car too. Give your new car to your girlfriend problem solve. Not the asshole, first, your girlfriend is a grown ass woman, let her buy her own car, women can do anything men can do, about your daughter, 
she is still not financially independent deserves help moreover she being your child is your responsibility as well so know you are a great father, who is doing the right thing. Not the asshole your gf of 3 years does not take priority over your daughter. Not to mention you offer to buy her a car anyway. How old is the gf? She sounds entitled as hell. Not the asshole daughter is more important than grown girlfriend. Daughter is permanent. Girlfriend possibly temporary. You're the asshole. You promised the car to your gf, if you wanted to give it to your daughter then you should have spoken to her first before doing anything. Morally I think she did own the car at that point with the only excuse being issues with your new car so you had to keep it. This is an issue for your gf, who is obviously being relegated as an afterthought for you. If you think so little of her maybe you should let her go. Oh normally I'd go not the asshole for putting your daughter first, but I am going you're the asshole because you had already told your girlfriend she could have car. You should never have changed your mind without asking your girlfriend if she would be okay with it. She still probably would have been pissed, but at least she would have been part of the conversation instead of completely disregarded and no concern given to how she would feel about it, even though you admit to knowing she would be mad. You're the asshole. You went back on your word. You're the asshole. It seems to be a controversial opinion, but children shouldn't be more important to someone than they're so. If you don't have enough emotional resource to provide equal amounts of love, support, and respect to both children and so then you don't deserve to have and so. Your GF's response indicates there have been issues around this before. You need to practice impulse control, you wanted to immediately alleviate your daughter's problem when it wasn't urgent you had time to consult with your GF about it before breaching your promise. You're the asshole only because you didn't talk to your GF about it first. You had agreed to give your car away to two people and that's not cool. If you had discussed it with your GF and explained you'd buy a new one for her then you wouldn't be DA. You're the asshole. For not communicating with your GF before you gave it to your daughter. If you told your GF that your daughter needs a car and you want to give her this one, you'll figure out another solution for her car then it would be upfront and clear. I seriously doubt he was going to buy her the car at most choose a car and make the down payment. After all responsibilities for furniture payment would be on the GF. This would be problematic because she expressed paying OP back in installments, maybe she doesn't have the cash for a regular car payment. For not consulting her you're the asshole. However you are a good dad just a shitty partner. While GF reactions are dramatic and over the top, she has a right to be upset when you broke your word. ESH accept your daughter. You are an offer making a promise and breaking your word. Your GF is an offer keeping a scorecard to feed her resentment and compete with your daughter. What kind of woman competes with a child for affection? Of course, if she can't count on your word then you feed her insecurities. You two need to seriously evaluate your relationship. You're the asshole. You went back on your word about something your GF was relying upon. Should have discussed it with her first. Obviously not the first time this has happened judging by your own admission in your last sentence. You're the asshole you know you are because you knew your girlfriend would be upset when you told her. Don't make promises you can't keep regardless of who it's to. A lot of people are pulling the daughter gf more importance bs. Bottom line, you made a freaking promise to someone. Being an adult means keeping your promise to the best of your ability. You should have discussed it with the gf first. I'm betting this isn't the first time you've done this. You're the asshole. Take your daughter out and help her pick out a new car. Give the old one to the girlfriend. You're the asshole. I'm gonna guess this isn't the first promise you have broken. If you don't wanna do the thing stop making the promise to the GF. Admit you wanna think about it and evaluate the overall situation. Cause your kid's car being a pos isn't new info for you. You knew about that. Start thinking things over before making promises. You're the asshole and this isn't about the car. What kind of car? You're the asshole it isn't a question of who is being put first. It just sounds like you say whatever will please the person in front of you regardless of what you have already committed to. This means no one can ever really count on you or trust you. You're the asshole if you make a commitment you should keep your word. You could have just bought your daughter a new car instead. As a kid who was always on the receiving end of a retracted offer, I'm going to say not the asshole. Your daughter needed a car and asked for money. Instead, you gave her your car. And then you offered to buy your GF a car and she threw a fit about it. In the end, everyone has a car so why fight over semantics? Always choose your children over anyone. After all, they exist only because of you. Not the asshole. 
not the asshole your daughter needed a new car right now and you offered in my opinion an acceptable replacement for the original agreement to your girlfriend. She only seems to be mad because you chose your own daughter in need before someone you're just dating. You're the asshole. You'd agreed with your girlfriend to sell the car to her then went back on your word without even having a discussion with her. She has every right to be mad and you offering to buy her a new car is not an apology. I suggest you sit down with her and explain your actions and actually apologize with words for going back on your agreement. You may not have meant to, but you've disrespected and disregarded her. Then give her the choice of the car you'd originally promised her or a different one, whichever she'd prefer and offer the other option to your daughter. You're the asshole you just shouldn't have promised anything. If you did, you still had the chance to convey it to your girlfriend, before you have away your car to your daughter. It's alright to chose your daughter and show love and affection. It is not okay to make your girlfriend feel less important betrayed. You're the asshole. Your daughter should in fact come first and not your girlfriend, but you already made a deal with your girlfriend. ESH don't make a promise then go back on it without even talking to her first. So's don't come before kids and she should know that. Also find it odd when adults try to compete w kids. I was prepared to say ESH accept your daughter. But the moment your GF threw out the pick me line in response to you getting her a different car it was over. Not the asshole. You're the asshole because you already had an agreement with your girlfriend. You could have just talked to her first. She prob wouldn't have been as upset had you communicated and come up with a plan together. And I'd you said you'd buy her another car why not just help your daughter buy one? Since the first car was already promised to your GF. You're the asshole. Due to these reasons 1. You made a promise to your GF, then reneged from that promise. 2. It sounds like you never, ever prioritize your GF and always choose your daughter even if she is wrong or does not deserve it. I would understand this if your kid is 5 years old or summit but your kid is an adult. You should choose them by merit when they are adults. I don't understand these not the asshole posts. You always expect the GF stepmom to suck it up when there is a kid involved. Mostly, kids should come first but there should be a limit.